So here is a case of a complicated Carlevale fixation uh, in a subluxated uh, IOL CTR back complex. So uh, I landed the complex by clearing the vitreous on the posterior pole in order to be able to free the CTR from the capsule. And here I got lucky because there is no significant shimmering remnants here. And uh, the first thing to do is to free the capsule because my strategy would be to extract first uh, the CTR ring, then the lens, because I think that the CTR is a little bit more dangerous for the retina compared to the soft uh, acrylic IOL. So I will explain this and later on I will, my plan is to fixate uh, Carlevale IOL. I'm using a 23 gauge cutter here, so there will be no issues of uh, removing the remnants of the capsule and um, to free the lens. Um, I'm using uh, PFCL to protect the posterior pole. It's debatable, but still it gives me a little bit more confident, confidence that there is a cushion. If I drop something, it will not hit directly the macula. So now I will uh, place the CTR ring on a convenient uh, position in order to be extracted through the anterior chamber, of course. Uh, and uh, I will switch to anterior segment mode. And I will try to rotate the ring in that fashion that uh, I suppose that I will not engage or damage the peripheral retina. So again, I'm using uh, micro forceps uh, for that. And with a gentle rotation, I believe I will be able to extract it without causing any peripheral damage because the CTR ring is really tricky to be removed. So next step will be extracting the IOL. Now I'm using a crocodile forceps. Uh, this is my, let's say, <laughs> most certain instrument it holds and it doesn't drop. Um, now I will place the IOL in the anterior chamber and through 2.2 incision um, size I will remove the um, uh, pieces from the IOL. Normally I cut it on three pieces in order to be removed through 2.2 and uh, it's important to have the a good uh, micro scissors uh, for cutting the IOL. It proved to be a problem actually to find a good one. And here, uh, something really important. All the, all the damage with the Carle Valle might happen in the cartridge. So I, uh, obviously I try to uh, pay attention of loading it, especially the anchors. But here somehow something happens with the posterior anchor. During the implantation, I tried to uh, engage the leading anchor with the forceps. Uh, of course, it will be placed under horizontal scleral pockets. And uh, in my opinion, it's good to be inside the eye. So the incision is not 2.2, but it is 2.4 somewhere. Uh, now I will extract or um, I will place the leading anchor under the scleral flap. And what happened here? Simply, I found out that I, that I amputated with the cartridge uh, or with the plunger, the trailing uh, anchor. So what to do to uh, remove this IOL? How to fix it that this IOL? Is uh, the design of the lens actually is pretty good and resembles really well the Acreos AO and any other four haptics IOLs. So my solution would be a Gore-Tex fixation of this part of the lens. So I already have my pre-made horizontal scleral pocket from the other side. And with a handshake technique, which I showed yesterday, uh, I will fixate this part of the lens. So yeah, it was a complicated uh, um, implantation of the Carla Valle. So when it, when it is going perfectly well, it is fast and easy. But when we amputate 
something from the lens, uh, this is the point where the problem starts. And uh, this is one point probably against the Carl Valley because it is not a preloaded and it is a lens that you receive without a dedicated uh, uh, injector. So nowadays from MD Tech, it is with a uh, additional injector, but still I think it's uh, something which might be improved with the Carla Valle. So here I pass the Gore-Tex suture in the same fashion that we would do with the Krayos AO. And now I will put the IOL behind the iris. And the fixation will be the same. It will be stable. There will be no tilting. And it will be placed on the uh, intended position, which was the original um, um, fixation point. The only difference is that now we have under this claro uh, pocket a Gore-Tex suture. And this is my case. Thank you.